Hi, and welcome to Kotori Flow. My name is Dana, and I'm very happy to see you here today. We will be sharing seven sessions of a guided yoga flow, and each of the sessions is connected to one element. Also, we have music from one of the Kotori artists for each of the yoga flows prepared for you. The first one is Oliver Koletsky, and I'm very happy to be in this together with you, as we currently cannot meet or see each other so much. So we have this shared space to connect with the tribe. Let's start in standing up, and I'll meet you at the top of the mat. So look straight forward and make sure you can exhale fully here. If you're familiar with Ujjayi breathing, the yogic technique of Ujjayi, start breathing in Ujjayi now. And connect to your breath and the body. Feel the soles of your feet. Feel how the floor is lifting you up. We'll do a few standing postures today in this session. And standing postures are related to the ground or the root. Muladhara means root. And it's the part where our being is connected to our sense of ease and steadiness and of living in this world. Bring your hands together in front of your chest and then find an intention for the practice. On your inhale, raise your arms up, look to your thumbs. Exhale, fold forward, bring your hands next to your feet. You can bend your knees here. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, two steps back into plank, and from here you bring the knees down lower, bend your elbows, chaturanga, half chaturanga. Inhale, point the feet, lift your chest, shoulders back. Exhale, tuck your toes, and come into downward facing dog. We're gonna stay here five breaths. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale. Exhale, four. Inhale. Exhale, five. Soften the knees, look forward. Inhale, two steps forward. Lift your chest. Exhale, folding. Inhale, come up. Lift your arms, look to your thumbs. And exhale, release. We'll do two more rounds. I'm gonna keep adding up to that. Inhale, lift your arms, palms together. Exhale, fold forward, bend your knees, optional. Inhale, look forward and prepare. Bring your hands down if possible. Exhale, step back. This time lower, straight away, down. Inhale, pointing the feet, upward dog. You can bring the shoulders back, chest forward here. Exhale, into a downward facing dog. And in downward dog, make sure your index fingers are pointing forward, the wrists parallel to the front edge of your mat in a way that your wrists are not pressing down too much. So you want to have the weight of your hands mostly in the roots of the fingers. And then push the hips back and up. Three. Inhale. Exhale, four. Inhale. Exhale, five. Bend your knees, look forward. Inhale, step forward or make a small jump. Exhale, folding. Inhale, come up. Take your arms with you. Exhale, release. Last round of this version. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, folding forward. Uttanasana. Inhale, look forward, prepare. Exhale, step or hop back into a low push up. You want to bend your elbows in the air. Inhale, pointing the feet. Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale back into downward dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Your gaze is towards the navel. Make sure you lift the quadriceps and push the calves back. Two. 
inhale exhale three inhale exhale four breathe in breathe out five soften the knees inhale step or hop lift your head exhale folding uttanasana inhale come up arms up palms touching exhale release sun salutation b bend your knees for chair bring your arms up if possible you bring the palms together if this is too much on the shoulders separate your hands inhale here exhale hands to the ground uttanasana inhale look forward exhale chaturanga stepping hopping you choose and you're pointing the feet, upward dog. Make sure that your heels are not gliding out, so bring them parallel to each other. And exhale, back into downward dog. Step the right foot forward on your inhale, left heel down, and come into a warrior one. Again, palms together if possible. Exhale, hands to the ground, stepping back, and chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, left foot forward, right heel down, lift up. Exhale, hands down, step back and slowly lower. You want to use the whole time of your exhalation. Inhale, pointing the feet. Exhale, back into downward dog and we stay here. Breathe in. Breathe out, one. Inhale, exhale two, inhale, exhale three, breathe in, breathe out four, inhale, exhale five, soften the knees. Inhale, step or hop forward. Lift your head. Exhale, Uttanasana, folding. Inhale, bend the knees deeply. Navel back towards the spine, Utkatasana. And exhale, standing, release in mountain pose, Tadasana. Good, bring your feet to a hip distance. Separation and keep them parallel. Hold the big toes with the first two fingers. You can bend your knees here. Inhale, look forward, chest forward. And exhale, relax your neck down. Parangustasana, stay here. If possible, extend your legs. One, inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale. Exhale, four. Breathe in. Breathe out five. Inhale, straighten your arms, look forward. Exhale, stay here. Inhale, slide your hands underneath the feet. If possible, big toes and wrists touching or toes and wrists touching. Exhale, relax your neck down, stay here. Padahastasana. Try to connect your lower ribs and the thighs. So you really bring the navel in towards the spine. Lift the pelvic floor. Two, inhale, exhale three, inhale, exhale four, inhale, exhale five. Inhale, straighten your arms, look forward. Exhale, stay where you are. Release your hands, bring your hands to your waist, inhale up, exhale, feet together at the top of your mat, Samasthiti. Inhale, step your right foot back and open to the long side of your mat, bring your arms up to shoulder distance, turn the right toes out, left toes in. For Trikonasana, you want to make sure to lift the muscles of the quadriceps and then come forward over your right leg, hinging from the waist. So you're moving the right hip back, left hip back and up, right hand down. You can bring your right hand to your shin or hold the big toe if that's available for you. Looking up towards the sky. 
for two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale. Exhale, four. Inhale. Exhale, five. Look down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, bend your right knee and widen your stance. Warrior two. So the hips are turning out here, rotating outward. Both of your thighs are rolling out. Imagine you want to bring the tailbone slightly down, pubic bone slightly in. Your shoulders are right on top of the hips. Look over your right middle finger. And smiling is also allowed. <laughs> Two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale. Exhale, four. Inhale. Exhale, five. Inhale, straighten your right leg. Exhale, bend the right knee, right hand to the outside of your right foot. If this is too much or you feel that the better version would be bringing, bringing the elbow to the top of the right thigh, please do that. Take the left arm up, inhale, and then bring your left arm forward in a way that you feel the extension in the left side body. Good, optional left, right hand down. Stay here for two. Breathing in, breathe out three, inhale, exhale four, inhale, exhale five, both hands down, on your inhale pick the back heel up and exhale step back into a downward facing dog, inhale move forward into plank pose. Exhale, come to the right hand outside of right foot. Stack the left foot on top, take the left arm up. If this is too much, please bring the left foot in front of you so you have more stability on the floor. Two, breathe in, and breathe out three. Both hands down, inhale to plank. Exhale, bend your elbows, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale back, downward dog. Bend the knees, look forward. Inhale, step or hop to the top. Exhale, folding. Inhale, bend knees for chair. Exhale, release. Good, other side. Step the left foot back, it'll open to the long side of your mat. Turn the left toes out, right toes in. You wanna have the front heel in the middle of the back foot. Align, bring your arms up to shoulder height. Inhale. Come over your left leg and exhale, left hand down, right arm up. Try to find length. Imagine you're bringing the top of your head forward and moving the shoulders back at the same time. Two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale. Exhale, four. Breathe in. Breathe out five. Inhale, slowly lift up. Exhale, bend the left knee, widen your stance so your front thigh is parallel to the floor. Again, tailbone down, pubic bone up. Find the lift from the pelvic floor, from the root, root chakra. Looking over the left middle finger. Both of your arms are extending out of your chest. For two. Inhale. Exhale, three, breathe in, breathe out, four, inhale, exhale, five, inhale, straighten your left leg, exhale, bend the left knee, left elbow to left knee or left hand outside of the left foot. Take your right arm up, inhale, exhale, bring it forward and then rotate your chest more towards the sky. Extended side angle here. Stay here for one. Breathe in. Breathe out two. If you notice your chin moving back too much and your neck crunching slightly, then bring your chin in and just roll your eyes up to your hand. Three. Inhale. Exhale, four. Inhale. Exhale, five. Both hands down, pick up your right heel. Inhale, step into plank. 
Exhale, come to the outside of your left foot and left hand. Inhale, bring the right arm up. Exhale, balance here for one. Inhale. Exhale, two, flex the feet if possible. And three. Both hands down, inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga or knees, chest, chin to the ground. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, back, downward facing dog. Breathing in and breathe out. Soften the knees, inhale, step or hop, head up. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, chair, Uttanasana. Exhale, standing, Samasana. Okay, bring your feet as wide as your mat, and then turn the toes out slightly so they're barely touching the floor. Bend your knees and sit down into a squatting position. You could stay here. If it's available, then sit down all the way and bring the elbows to the insides of the knees. Press your palms together and then lift your chest up. We feel the chest lifting through that pressure of the hands onto each other. Two, straight forward. Breathe in. Breathe out, three. Inhale. Exhale, four. Inhale. Exhale, five. Bring your hands down. Inhale, lift the hips up. Exhale, walk your feet back into a downward facing dog. Inhale, step the right foot between your hands. And exhale, bring the left knee down. Bring your arms up, inhale. And I'm going to twist to the right side here. First of all, you bring your arms parallel to the floor and open your chest towards the right side. Good, you could stay here. Inhale, lift your arms up again. Or next one, bring your arms down and now bring the left elbow to the outside of the left knee. Palms together. Press your palms together and lift your chest to meet the thumbs. Exhale, stay here, look to the sky. Optional, extend your back leg. For one, inhale. Parvita Parsha Konasana, twisted, extended side angle. Two, inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale. Exhale, four. Breathe in. Breathe out, five. Both hands down. Inhale, step to plank pose. Exhale, knees, chest, chin down. Inhale, cobra. Point the feet. Exhale, tuck your toes and back. Downward facing dog. Inhale, step the left foot forward. Exhale, right knee down. Inhale, lift your arms. And we're gonna start with the first variation. So bring your arms down, open towards the left side. Exhale. Inhale, arms up. Either you do the same one again, or you bring your right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Palms together, and now lift the chest up. Rotate the spine around itself. Optional, extend the back leg. Stay here for one. Breathe in. Breathe out two. Do you want to drop the right hip? So make sure you feel where the right hip is in space. Three. Inhale. Exhale, four. Inhale. Exhale, five. Bring your hands down. Inhale to plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, forward cobra. Exhale, through bent knees, into downward dog. Bend the knees, look forward. Inhale, step or hop, lift your chest. Exhale, folding. Inhale, lift up to stand. Take your arms with you. Exhale, release. Step the right foot back and open to the long side of your mat again. Hands to your waist, lift your chest up here. Exhale, bring your hands down to the floor in front of you. Now, if your hands are not able to touch the floor, you could take blocks or you walk them more forward. 
and you find a nice extension here in the chest, bring your chest down, head down, relax. Imagine you're being stretched into all directions. So back, up, down, forward, in, out. Breathe. On your inhale, walk the hands back. You lower your shoulders. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, hop the feet together. And exhale, find a way to sit down on the floor. Good. Extend your legs, flex the feet. Flexing means you bring the toes towards the face and move the heels away from you. Now, with your fingers, you can touch your quadriceps for a moment and find an activation there. So you want to press the muscles of your thighs down, but at the same time, bring the bones, so the femur bones, the back and out. Lift your chest, find a strong seat here, and if there's space to come forward without rounding the lower back, you come forward and you lean forward, preparing to come into a forward fold. Paschimottanasana. Now, it's not important what you can reach with your hands. I know that's often the idea. If the hands come to your feet very comfortable, you can bring them there. If not, never mind. Bring your hands wherever they can reach. Chest forward, shoulders back. Stay here two, inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale. Exhale, four. Inhale. Exhale, five. Three more, inhale. Notice how you're gradually releasing. Maybe go a little bit deeper. Six, breathe in. Breathe out seven. Inhale. Exhale eight. Inhale, slowly lift up. Exhale, bring your hands behind you, your fingers pointing towards the hips. Bend your knees, place your feet on the floor, hip distance apart. Inhale, lift the hips up, and then relax your neck if it's okay for your neck. If that's too much, then keep your head slightly up, please. Two, you want to have the knees on top of your ankles, so check if you're not sure. Three. Four, keep pushing the pelvis up. And five, release. Come down to sit. Good, either you step back into downward dog, or you bring your knees in, cross the shins, make yourself really, really small. Lift the hips up, maybe the feet, and exhale, find your way back. Inhale, upward dog. Or you turn chaturanga, exhale, downward dog. Good, from here, you bend your knees, look forward. Inhale, step or hop, and sit down. <laughs> okay, bend both knees into your chest. Inhaling, and exhale, open the knees to the side. For Baddha Konasana, bound angle, you want to be able to hold the feet with your hands. Now turn the soles of your feet up, and make sure you can see the soles of your feet. You want to have the outer edge of your feet pressing together like a book. The knees going out to the side. If this is causing any pain in your knee, then move the feet forward, please, okay? Sit as close as possible. And exhale here. Inhale, chest up. Exhale, maybe move into that space. Now again, it's not the goal to bring the head somewhere, the hands somewhere, the elbows somewhere. Well, the goal is always in the awareness. to the floor, round your spine, and then slowly, each vertebrae, slowly touching the floor. Come to lie down. Try to keep your legs on the floor. Don't lift the feet. Don't lift the feet. Don't lift the feet. 
come all the way down. And then lie down here, bring your shoulders down just for a few moments. Bring your knees into the chest first. Open the knees again, Supta Baddha Konasana. Place one hand on your heart and one hand on your abdomen. So feel the ground below your body. Feel the sensation of being carried, being supported, and being held. And whenever you're ready, bring your knees up. Extend one leg after the other. And release your hands to the ground. Your palms are facing up. Just rest here for a few moments in Shavasana. Shavasana is the seat of letting go, of allowing, of not trying so hard. Simply receive. And start to deepen your breath. Moving fingers and toes, hands, feet. Extend your arms alongside your ears. Give yourself a nice stretch. And from here, bend both knees into the chest and roll onto one side. And give yourself a moment here. Whenever you're ready, make your way up into a seated position. Close your eyes. Rest your hands on your lap. Just sit for a moment with that pure awareness, the clarity. We always have access to this space. It's so simple to simply breathe and move, and yet sometimes we forget. So use every practice, even if it's a short one or a long one, as a reminder. A reminder for you of your own presence, of the power of whatever you want to dedicate your presence to. Bring your palms to touch in front of your chest. And then bow your forehead down. Thank you very much. Thank you for practicing with me today. And see you soon here on Kotori Flow. Bye. <laughs>